Hello, welcome to Finding the Evidence 1 using PICO to formulate a search question. My name is Neil Thurley. I'm one of the outreach librarians based at the John Radcliffe Hospital. The easiest way to explain how to use the PICO model is to take you through an example. The scenario we are going to use relates to a GP who has a specialist interest in smoking cessation. They want to encourage the practice to engage with teenagers to stop them smoking. In order to persuade their colleagues, they want to see what evidence is available, particularly on the effectiveness of brief intervention techniques. PICO is a way of identifying and working through potential search terms to retrieve the best set of results possible. In the model, P stands for patient, population or problem. The I stands for intervention. The C represents comparison or control. And the O stands for outcome. Authors often use different words or phrases to describe the same thing. It is therefore necessary to think of alternative words or phrases in order to capture all the results that might be relevant to our search topic. In our example, the P in the PICO, our patient or population, is teenagers. Authors may also describe them as adolescents or young people, so these phrases are listed in order to increase our chances of retrieving a more comprehensive set of results. The I, or intervention in our scenario, is brief intervention. Alternative terms might include brief advice, brief counselling or minimal advice. In this example we do not have a control or comparison. It's not always necessary to use all four arms of the PICO model. The O or outcome might be described as smoking cessation. The authors may also refer to patients who stop smoking or quit smoking. If we bring all these elements together as a focus question, they might look something like this. Can brief intervention be used as an effective cessation technique with teenagers? It is important to bear this question in mind at every stage of the search process. It is the key to retrieving a focused set of results for your search. If you have found this session useful, you might want to look at finding the evidence too. This shows you how to combine the search terms we identified in part 1 to form a search strategy. If you have any questions, please feel free to email or phone and ask for one of the outreach librarians.